welcome to free i'm geraldine and today's motivational video is about learning a new language i'm going to share my experience learning a new language not english because i started learning that like way too long ago but now i'm learning a new language italian italian is a beautiful language i've always liked it i've always wanted to learn it after i was I finished my formal studies of English, I wanted to learn another language, but I kept postponing it for some reason, well, whatever. I thought that I had to do other things first. But then I said, no, whatever, I'm going to learn it. But I never did. Even once last year, I started taking a course online in Italian, uh, but I lasted like two classes or something like that. But this time is different. <laughs> Not because I have an urgency to learn it. I don't. I just want to learn it because I like it and because I want to speak it when I go to Italy, which I hope is very soon. But it's not an urgent business. I want to do it. But this time I thought that I wanted to do it. I really meant it. And I thought what I could do to make that really happen, to continue studying it, not just not stopping it just soon after starting. So I thought about what I tell you. Well, what I tell my students, that if they really want to learn the language, they have to be surrounded by the language. They have to be in contact with the language. They have to be exposed to the language as much as they can. So I thought, I'm going to do that too. I always tell my students, well, why is your phone in Spanish, well, they speak Spanish, switch to English because you're used to your phone, you are going to learn something. So I did that. So my phone is in Italian now. So I said the language of my phone to Italian and now it's in Italian and I don't get many of the words, well, most of the words, but I know what the phone is about. So I just sometimes look at the words, sometimes I don't, but it's there. That's one thing. Another thing that I tell my students is to change their email to the target language, to English. And I haven't changed my email to Italian. I have to do that. I'll do that just right after recording this video. Then um, I'm doing the Instagram and I started following, I follow hashtags about learning languages in general. But when I decided to start learning Italian, I started following a lot of hashtags with learning Italian, following people who teach Italian. So I always have that in my Instagram so I, I can learn every day. I set a time to study Italian 30 minutes a day because there's no more time for me than that. And even though I don't do it every day, even when I don't do it formally, don't study it, well, my phone's still in Italian. So I always <laughs> take a look at some Italian every day. Then with the music, um, there's great songs. There are many, many great songs in, in Italian, but I started listening to them more actively. Not all the time, because it, it does require a lot of concentration, uh, but looking at the lyrics, listening to the songs. I'm not saying I get the meanings, I don't get the meanings. I don't use translations because I really don't like it, but some people do, that's fine. I don't. I said, I'm gonna watch a movie in Italian. So I put my Netflix on and I put Italian or something and I got this movie, this famous movie, Life is Beautiful or in Italian, I don't remember, I think it's La Vita e Bella, but I, I don't know. I watched it in Italian with subtitles in Italian. I watched the movie several times, so I really knew what the movie was about, so I enjoyed it a lot. That was great. Then I moved to the next level. I found other TV series, so just picked one and I started watching it. It's called Subura. I really don't know if that's the pronunciation, I don't know what it means, but I'm watching it. This is different. It's more a challenge because I've never watched that. I have no idea what it's about, but it's a great experience. I watched the first chapter, again, with subtitles in Italian, 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 closed captions. And first chapter, not a clue. I had no idea what the deal was about. 
except from a couple of pictures that get a, the very, very basic idea, but I didn't get much with that chapter. But that was okay, because that's what I tell my students. Just watch the movies and just get used to the way they speak. You know, the, the rhythm of the language, the most common words they use. And by the end of the first season, I got the main idea of the whole series. Uh, but I could mainly relate to the characters because what they say, I might not understand what they say, I don't, but I get the emotions they get. And, and I started picking some phrases that I can actually use. I don't know if I use them well, and I don't know what they mean exactly, <laughs> most of them, but they use, it, they use them a lot. So uh, I know that, that I should learn that. For example, they keep saying, allora, I don't know. I really don't know what that means, but they say it a lot. And then on Instagram, there, there are like questions about the grammar point in Italian, which is kind of challenging because the conjugation is very tricky. Uh, but I haven't, I'm not there yet, but still I write my sentence. I'm sure the sentence is really bad, it's really terrible, but I just attempt it. Or if they ask a question, like on Instagram stories, they ask a question and I really don't know. So I know how to say it. So I say, I, I type, no lo so, which is, I don't know, I think. And, or non capisco, non capisco. No, no capisco. Or, well, I'm learning. And that's it. That's all I have. I've been doing this for, what, a month? But I'm just getting used to the way the language is. And as I keep saying, first, I'm just getting surrounded by the language and letting my, my brain do the job because it's getting, it's getting all the information and sooner or later, I'll be able to use it. Maybe later, but I'll be able to use it. Now with the series, I don't feel I'm learning tons, but I know I am. I don't feel it because I just pick two phrases and that's it. But I know that I'm just in the face of just getting, getting all the material. I'm not in the face of giving anything yet. And if I do give, it's just to have fun. <laughs> And I know that it might be wrong, that will probably be wrong, yeah, but I just try to enjoy it. I try to have fun with it. My point is, I am enjoying it. Are you enjoying learning English or any other language you're learning? So just try to have fun with it and commit. Commit to the language you're learning. And I hope to keep telling you my progress on this language. Thank you very much for watching. Please, Subscribe, share, and see you soon.